you know what? I was feeling pretty good right up until I hit the live thing. And I was like, you know what? Why do I feel nervous now? It's so weird. I don't know. It was weird. I was like, I was like, oh, you know, it's whatever. It's just a normal stream. And I was like, shit. Mo. <laughs> Mo. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. There you go. You get the forehead view first. It's the first thing you get to see. Well, technically the hairline. There you go. <laughs> oh man. You know what? I kind of had a whole bit planned out for this, and I was like, oh, you know what? I'll I'll mess around with it. It'll be fun. You know, I'll do. Is this the brown amogus? This is not a brown. <laughs> Forehead pod. There you go. What's going on, everyone? Uh, Bloom, Chai, Coyote, Broshenside, uh, Raiko, oh, uh, Swole Cat, uh, Orange Monkey. Uh, who else did I forget? I think that's everyone. Uh, if I forgot your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll get back to you. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what? It's just a model. What's there to be nervous about? What? <laughs> oh my god. Nah, can't do the. Oh wait, wait. Don't, don't, don't do any of those new ones. Uh, don't do any of those new ones. Those are for uh, wink. <laughs> wink. Uh, those new redeems are for. Uh, Call of Duty later today. There you go. There's your wink. <laughs> I didn't think that he'd actually reach up that high. But yeah, no, nah, I've been setting a lot of custom parameters for it. Unfortunately, I think I messed up the eyes a little bit. I mean, they look like they're working a little better. I think it just took a while. Oh, no. Wow. It's okay, you can't see that. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> it's gone on Vice. Glad you can make it. I hope your day's been good. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, no, I don't know. I was I was feeling really good about it until I hit the live, and I was just like, well, shit. Now what do I do? There you go. You get a little bit more. There you go. There's full face reveal. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. You get to... Oh, jeez. Rude. <laughs> it's fine. But yeah, hey, there you go. You saw a little bit of the face. Oh no, where's the thing at? Time to bully streamer. <laughs> there you go. There's your full mo There's your full full body right there. I don't even know if y'all can see me in that. Can y'all? Jeez, it's so small. Oh my god, <laughs> you can't even hit me. <laughs> uh, I'm too small. Short kings rise up. It's our time. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what? What, Chai? What is this a model for ants? <laughs> it basically is. Hold on. I'll bring it in. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Getting in. There we go. Imagine Get... being a manless. Oh no. Couldn't be me. Uh, I prefer the term short king, though. Oh, no, H is hot. <laughs> oh, no, he's hot. Oh, man, that's that's what I told uh, the artist when she made this. Gondra I was like, is an ant. I was like, you made this way too powerful for me. I was like, there's there's no way. And she was like, no, it's good. And I was like, I know it's Chad good. Ola. Chad Tola. <laughs> there you go. That's the new name, Chad. No, nah, there's, there's another name for it, but uh, I'm not going to enforce it, honestly. This Never is mind. not anymore. My stream is behind. But she gave me teeth too. There you go. I do the I do the closed eyes too. For a while, I don't know why, but it was like every time I hit the hit the smile, I was getting a wink in and it looked really I don't know. It was too powerful. There you go. Well, that's a blank, but whatever. My 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 eye tracking still needs a little more work. Uh, it kind of blinks on its own every now and then. I don't think I said anything to it, but it's fine. I'm still learning how to use the model properly. What's going on? <laughs> Cyber. Oh, man. But yeah, no, it's, it's been pretty cool. Uh, I guess I can show y'all the full model. Uh, uh, where is it? You know, we'll just... I had a keybind for this, but then I, I don't think I want to use it because the keybind's not that good, honestly. 
So there we go. This is a little better. There we go. You get the you get the full body experience now. Oh my god, the Any only chance. Yeah, the, there, there's an out. Oh my god, my feet, jeez. Oh, there you go. You got the you got the cool cowboy boots. You got the the jeans. Winking is a curse of BTS. You'll want to set both eyes to blink based on one. Nah. E R I P. No winking, but meh. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Uh, why no. the eyeliner? Why the eyeliner? There's no why eyeliner. Me? It's just an eyeshadow. Ah, uh, Rui! She made it. What's going on? Glad you can make it, Rui. Rui was the artist. Uh, artist and rigor that did all this for me. So she she did a really good job. But yeah, no, I, I'll I'll get the thing working in, or the yo the mama. I yo Congratulations mama. Congratulations on red debut. Looks uh, amazing. Thank you, thank you, Vel. Glad you can make it. I hope your day's been going good. Uh oh, Raiko, thank you for the gifted subs. Very much appreciated. But uh, yeah, no, Rui did all this work. Uh, she she's an amazing artist, and you should definitely look her up. She does a lot of good work. Uh, what is this? Like, I think, I think this is Rui's third model. It was her model, then it was, uh, another model that she did, and then she did this one. So she's, she's been doing really good work. Like, I've been seeing a lot of improvements, and I'm, I'm looking forward to what she does in the future. But, uh, yeah, no, it was, <laughs> I, I did put Rui through some crunch, though, but she, she Congrats, came through at the Rui, end. You're on the resume. Oh no, I'm on the resume now. What does that even mean? It doesn't mean anything. Oh, I need to get a new mic arm though. I I forgot to like totally oil this arm up last night because it's, it's squeaking way too much. But uh, I guess we can get into the holo LARP section of this because I know there's a, probably some new people out there that don't know what I'm about. But uh, like a year, like for the last year, I've been using a gondola model. And I was like, you know what? I guess it's time to, time to upgrade and get a new model. So here I am now. Oh no, he's cute. Oh no, what's going on, daughter of Medusa? Being Glad you can make it up. Your day's been going. Yeah. <laughs> he's a real boy now. I'm a real boy. I'm a real boy. But yeah, no, it's 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 great. Like this model's amazing. I love it so much. Uh. When I was doing the custom parameters and stuff like that, I finally figured out how to make it, like, do the gloom face. Oh, no, the tracking just went wonky. Now I looked down too hard, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Doku. I'm glad you can make it. I hope your day's been going good. You never told me about gondola origins, so let's hear it. Uh, basically, the gondola... Oh, I never did tell you, did I? I think I did tell you that I was going to tell you about it, but I never did. Uh, basically, the reason why I had the... Or are you talking about the uh the gondola meme itself because the gondola meme itself is literally just an obscure meme uh that was based off of us of another finnish meme called a spurto sparte and that's basically it a spurto sparte was just a weird deformed bear that often depicted americans and then one day some finnish dudes were like what if we just took a spurto's head and put it on some legs and then you had a gondola and that that was literally it. But if you're talking about why I had the gondola model, it was <laughs> if you're if you're wondering why I had the gondola model, it was basically because I didn't have an actual design. I actually didn't have this design. Uh, I'll show you. I, I mean, I I think I showed y'all the uh like the concept art that I had that Deforland had drawn for me. Uh, like earlier this year, it may have been during the birthday stream, or it might have been during uh the Christmas stream. I don't remember, but uh, I remember showing that off. And uh, let me see if I can find it, because right right now we're just hanging out in the void right now. But I'll I'll break it over to the desktop stream in a little bit. Uh, let me just find those images. Uh, but I've had this since like September 2021, at least this design down. And then Rui came through and refined it a lot better. Uh, I really like the Forland's art style, but um, 
he wasn't doing any like type of live 2d stuff and Rui was available so I was like you know what Rui let's let's see I, I want to see uh what my character would look like in your style and uh she gave me a rough draft of what it looked like and I really liked it so I decided to go with Rui on it uh but let me see if I can I keep finding Stalus it drew you the PNG. Stalus. oh yeah Stalus. yeah yeah he he did the uh the cooking ones for me that I never really got to use I mainly used them for uh for like gun cleaning streams and stuff like that uh, but yeah, no, that, uh, that's actually how I found Stalus. I found Stalus on Twitter because I was looking for a PNG artist for, so that way I could do cooking streams. I mean, I could still use it for cooking streams and stuff like that, but you know, I, I just don't have the kitchen area space for it right now. Uh, the kitchen area is basically going to be the next thing that I get. It's either going to be the kitchen area or it's going to be that other room. Like the den area is what I get remodeled next. Uh, but either way, I, I, I need a, I need the space for a cleaner setup soon. Uh, but yeah, no, DeForland also did a really great job on, uh, on some of my stuff. Uh, let me see if I can find, I keep saying I'm going to find it and then I keep getting sidetracked. Uh, is it here? Yeah, here it is. Projects, art. No there we go. Cardboard box. Oh no, the cardboard box is still here. Don't worry about mm -hmm. that. See, cardboard box still here. Cardboard box will always be a part of my streams. Nah, you don't have to worry about that. But uh, I also got the stream deck, so I've been uh, so I've been getting a lot of hotkeys set up right now. Cardboard box is iconic. It is. You can't get rid of it. And then I have the cockpit mode, but I have to redesign the cockpit. Uh, unfortunately. Oh yes. Gondola, the cooking and gun cleaning streamer. Yeah, that's Ooh, me. Shiny <laughs> yeah, nice. it's it's been really really cool, but uh, I need to remodel the cockpit in here. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't because my drawing tablet died. Uh, but yes, the the stream deck Hello, has been Wing. a. Hey, what's up, Cletus? Glad you can make it. Hope your day's been going good. Uh, but yeah, uh, having all of this right here has been amazing. Uh, at least the stream deck. I uh, got coop. You got the coof. I can't believe it. Oh, uh, that's right. I can show you all some of the outfits and stuff like that uh, before we move on. But here we go. Uh, there, There's like so many different type of outfit uh, configurations for this. But I, I decided to just narrow it down until I decide to want to like swap them out. So uh, we got the, the no jacket mode, which is pretty cool. Uh, which one's this? Here we go. Uh, no jacket again. But, you know, different poses. And then I can really mess up my stuff, but I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. We got Arthur mode. So I can just do the black jacket and white shirt. <laughs> so we can we can run a fucking 50s leather gang or something like that. Uh, here we go. Uh, just white t-shirt mode. Uh there we go. And then we got the Road jacket house. over the shoulder. Road. <laughs> uh, there, there's another one in here. Well, there's two more that I got to show you. Uh, here we go. Let me load back in. And then uh, here's the other one that I was teasing on the uh, on the Twitters the other day. If you saw the CIA post, uh, maybe you already get where this is going. But there you go. Dr. Pavel, I'm CIA. <laughs> So there we go. I have my CIA outfit ready. This is going to be the Halloween costume. I like it. it like as soon as I saw this, <laughs> he's a big guy. He's a big guy for you. But it, like as soon as I saw this pose that Rui did, I was like, okay, I gotta do the. I, I gotta do the. I gotta do the CIA thing now. And you sure enough, to bring friends, Gondo. Oh, uh, I've I've brought shoulders. plenty of friends. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. It's it's this is my favorite one. So I I have it set on the front page of my Steam Deck, so I can just Powerful access stance. it. So I can just access it anytime. But yeah, no, it's great. Uh, let me see what else do I got on here. I got some like other stuff in here too. But uh, none of that's important. I I showed off a little bit of the features uh on the last stream. But it's, you know, it's been pretty cool. Uh, I wanted this a little bit earlier. I think I said I wanted this, like, He's in July. Just standing there menacing me. <laughs> no, I'm not. Literally not doing anything. I'm just chilling here. 
But yeah, uh, I originally wanted to get this model back in, you know, summer. But, you know, things happened and, you know, stuff, whatever. It's fine. But in the end, it all worked out. So I'm not worried about it. Uh, <laughs> better late than never is what they say, I guess. But uh, I still have the mecha still in the shop. So, but I guess we can get to the holo LARP portion of this because I was like, what do I do for this stream? I was like completely lost. Is like, how do I debut? So I went back and I rewatched some like Holo Tempest stuff and some other stuff, other VTuber debuts. And I was like, okay, these are these are fairly regimented, I guess. Uh, but I was like, you know what? It's it's a great way. It's a great way to like break the ice and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? And I also get to show off some cool art that I got while it was like in the week of doing all this. So. You know, you get to see some cool art, except for like the first two slides. First two slides are basically just uh, me, <laughs> but uh, the other slides are pretty cool. Uh, I found a really good artist, and uh, I I really wanted to show this this piece of art that I got, uh, like like earlier this week. Yeah, it was it was earlier this week. I think I got it on Monday, and I really wanted to show it off because it was so good. Uh, but I didn't because I, I wanted to save it for the schedule this week, or at least until I got to the uh, the holo LARP portion of the stream. Uh, honestly, this, this this ain't gonna be a long, a long LARP. It's just gonna be like, you know, a quick walk through whatever, talk through whatever you want to call it through this. But uh, let me go ahead and let me move some stuff around because I'm a you know. Freaking being a VTuber, you need like 20 monitors to do this properly. Oh no, wrong one. There we go. Now we're back. I'm never getting rid of this wallpaper Drop though. Wi Fi in the gym is trash. Oh no, she's Wi Fi. I'm sorry, Chai. It's okay. I'm glad you can make it though. Uh, let me see. Where is it at? Start from the beginning. Let's go. But yeah, we're going to do. We're going to run through these slides fairly quickly. So. There we go. There's the new... Oh, wait. Let me move myself out of the way. But there's the new name, but I'm not going to enforce it upon anyone. Y'all can still call me Gondola or whatever. Like I said, th this is more of a uh, a soft reboot than an actual rebranding. <laughs> I wouldn't even call it a rebranding. Bro, I need a third monitor, but I got no space. Bro, I got four monitors, and it's still not enough. Hold on, let me move myself out of the way. Is right here fine? I think right here should be fine. Yeah, right there is fine. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, there's the new name, Damien. It's a pretty cool name. I thought it was all right. Uh, a lot of other people said it was pretty cool. I was like, okay, yeah, we'll we'll roll with that. There we go. There's the height. Everyone knows I'm already short, so why why not make it public? No worries. I got 10 <laughs> minutes left. Oh, okay, sweet, sweet. Uh, birthday, February 20th. Blood type O positive. So if we're ever in a firefight, you know what type of blood type I'll need. But uh, actually, I left uh, the blood I'm type in the here. Name. I think you're like way behind, dude. Damn. Oh, dangerous sounding. Danger. Short. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, Chai's uh, Chai's behind. That's all. Okay. No, it's okay. I I fixed it. In the future, from the past. So she'll get the message in the future, future, future. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh no. What is that? Is that what I... Okay, no, that's not what I thought it was. Okay, that looked like something else. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, I left the, the O type, or the, the blood type in there because I, I learned something interesting pretty recently uh, because I remember playing a bunch of fighting games and I always wondered why characters had their blood types in there. But it actually turns out that the Japanese believe in something, in like uh, personalities based on blood type. Oh no, it's so bad. It's okay, she's getting those gains right now. I need to go back to the gym. Maybe I'll go later tonight. <laughs> I'll, I'll either go later tonight. No, actually I can't. I, I renewed my, I got a new debit card, so I'd have to, <laughs> I'd have to go and meet with the gym managers or the, the account or whoever, the receptionist up there to get it all set up. So I can't go in, I can't go at midnight tonight. Uh, so I'll have to go in on like Monday or something to get, get my gym membership renewed. But, uh, the the reason why they had it on there was or the reason why they had blood types on there in like Japanese uh game manuals was because the they believed in uh blood types tied to personalities. So people with like 
uh, O positive are usually considered optimistic, calm, and you know all that type of stuff. Uh, honestly, like I, I was looking through it because I wanted to learn a little bit more about it, and nice. I'm inspirational. <laughs> and uh, and like I'm, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these are just like it's astrology stuff. It's literally just astrology. <laughs> Um, but it was it was pretty cool because I never knew that. I always thought it was just like there for just, you know, uh, flavor text or something like that, just so that way you can know a little bit more about that character. So wait, am I so positive cause my blood type is B positive? Uh, let's see. So they don't, uh, the, the site. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> oh man, if you're blood type B, I feel sorry for you because you're considered selfish. <laughs> <laughs> um but the you you can see the mech right here i intentionally blurred it out because it's not ready yet but the mech is called the jericho and it's currently in the shop still but uh you know we'll we'll, we'll work on that we'll get it we'll get it up and running soon so don't worry about that there oh, there it goes uh there we go and then we got the likes and dislikes you know reading working out tactics you you know what I'm all what I'm all about. You know all the tactical stuff. I've been there, done that. <laughs> Spent uh, six months in Jordan, which wasn't bad. Uh, I, it was it was uh, like I would I would go back again. Uh, forms of meditation. Uh, so my forms of meditation are super weird because it's usually just weapons cleaning because I can just sit there for like hours and just clean and clear my mind out and it's it's honestly like super relaxing. Uh, <laughs> That's why I like my that's why I like my weapons cleaning streams are usually pretty quiet because I'm just like I usually get lost in thought. I was like, ah, what? It's so relaxing. Same thing with the model buildings for the gunpla streams. I mean, y'all y'all seen the gunpla streams, so you know how they get. Uh, gardening, gardening's also a lot of fun for me. Uh, unfortunately, this garden, uh, the garden this year didn't do too well. Uh, but my peppers did pretty good. Uh, the habaneros are finally growing in, and I was able to finally pick a few of them. Uh, the other day, I just haven't put them in anything yet. I'm thinking about sticking them in some burgers, though. Like dice up a dice up a habanero and put Based it in some burger. Typo plus bro. There we go. Let's go. Uh, cooking. Obviously, you guys know I'm all about the cooking. I should have put like some cooking pictures on here, but whatever. Dislikes. I hate the summer and I hate beer and I hate running, but there's stuff that I gotta do. Well, running is what I have to do. Beer, I just, I never got the, I, I could never enjoy the taste of. It was always trash. I don't care what anyone says. It's like, no, it's a trash drink. I'm sorry if you like it. But uh, that was about Running it for the blows. dislikes. Running does Heat suck, bad. dude. Heat bad. Running does suck. It, it sucks for me now because I got back problems now. So whenever I run, I start feeling pain in my back. And it's just like, oh my God, I can't believe this. I used to be able to run like a mile and a half in like nine minutes. And then now it takes me like 13 minutes because of the pain that I feel in my back and my legs. But, you know, that's uh, that's that's the perks of uh, of being in the military. You uh, you come out with uh, with a pretty broken body, <laughs> but it's OK. They're paying for Why it now. Would you bring up burgers again. Burgers. I've been burgers since uh, Thursday, don't don't worry. I'll show you the burger that I made the other day, or like two weeks ago. It was so good. Maybe you already saw it. The Bananaverse. Thank you for the follow. Why is my notifications not working? Did I? No, I don't think I did. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to get that fixed. Maybe I did accidentally delete it. Hold on. Let's go back to the stream. Oh, okay. No, that's not it. Weird. Where did it go? Okay, whatever. I'll fix. I'll. I'll. I'll get that fixed later. But uh, thank you for the follow, Bananaverse. I hope you're enjoying your time here. Uh. But yeah, no, I, 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 de I desperately need to still test the stream out because. -O -O -Y. Why? 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 <laughs> what? I'm just gonna DM you that picture. It's it... thank you. It is wonderful. Yeah, there we go. That's that's the art that Don't I wanted I to show off. To be a good sheep. <laughs> oh no, bad sheep. Now she's gonna eat the burger. But this is the uh, this is the art that I wanted to show off. It was so it's so freaking good. Uh, I'll Very credit the nice art. art. Yeah, it's super good. Uh, Devil May Cry inspired. Uh, that's what I'll be playing next week. I've been putting off the Devil May Cry series for a long, 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 long time right now. Like basically a year. I was I kind of forced myself to play Devil May Cry 3 though. Uh mainly because 
I didn't like Bayonetta two. I I was I remember playing Bayonetta two on stream, oh. and then just getting really just I don't like it. I didn't like Let's it. Go. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. We're playing Devil May Cry three. It's the superior action game, and I played through all of Devil May Cry three again for like the twentieth time. <laughs> uh, so we're awesome off. yeah yeah. Uh, I'll I'll be sure to to link him through Twitter. Uh, because I I don't have his W debatable. Yeah. <laughs> but uh no, I I I just can't get into Bayonetta. I think it's too simplistic. Uh but you know, we got we got the list of my favorite games up here. Devil May Cry, Ace Combat, Dragon's Dogma, Shoot 'em Up games. I love Shoot 'em Ups. Uh I will go out of my way to buy Shoot 'em Ups. Like like even if I find that even if I feel like they're overpriced, I'll still go out of my way if it looks good to buy it. Uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, I need to get around to playing like Final Fantasy three soon or six, whatever you want to call it. Monster Hunter, great game, like great series. Earth Defense Force, another great series. Hitman, Ghost Squad. Ghost Squad's a great arcade shooter if you've never played it. Uh, SWAT four, and I was gonna type in uh, Ready or Not, but you know if if you see SWAT four, you know you know. Uh, favorite animes: Spice and Wolf, Gundam, Helsing, Copcraft. I feel like Copcraft was like a very underappreciated Gundam, anime. Have you played Cave Shoot 'em Ups? Yeah, yeah, I I love Cave Shoot 'em Ups. What's going on, Ringo? Really shoot 'em Ups. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I I have a bunch of them. I just can't remember them off the like the top of my head right now. Um, mainly because I play like a lot, so I don't Based get the names Spice a lot of them. Wolf Dude, Spice and Wolf is amazing, and I'm so glad we're finally getting a season three. I think I have that game. Let me see. Or let me see. Let me look this up real quick. Uh, but I, I've most likely played, you know, ton of cave. Uh, no, actually, I don't think I've played this one. No, no, I don't think I've played this one yet. Uh, but I'll I put it on the list. BRB while I Yo, she's at the. She's heading home now. Let's go. Let me look up some cave games. Is a. Uh, no, I don't think Death Smiles is a cave shooter. Is it? Let's see. Thanks, but I watch Spicy Wolf for the economics. Same. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I have played. Yeah, Death Smiles. I played Death, Death Smiles. Smiles Don Don K. Pachi. Yeah, uh, Mush Mushashi Hime Sama. Don Don Pachi. Yeah, I've 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 played most of these. Uh, oh, Akai Katana. I have that on Xbox. I've been meaning to play it for so long, and I just never had a chance to. Um, let's see. What else have they made? But yeah, no, no, I, I, I do have like most of these games on Steam. I'll, I'll show you the shoot 'em up collection later. Uh, you know, Goblin Slayer. I love Goblin Slayer. Uh, me, me and a friend were like really into Goblin Slayer. Uh, when we were in the when we were in the military, uh, mainly because it was a uh, it was a personality thing. Like it was, he was just determined. Like I just like. I don't know. It was, it was he was just a really cool character uh while you're in the military type thing. Uh Inuyashiki. Inuyashiki is a great series or an, uh anime if you haven't seen it. it. Like I Inuyashiki actually ruined anime for me for a while because like I watched it and then I tried watching other things and nothing just compared to Inuyashiki in terms of like story and making you feel something at the end. And uh Oh man, it's 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 a great show. You should definitely watch it or read the manga. Uh the manga has a little bit more in it, obviously. They they cut some stuff out, but definitely check out Inuyashiki. Itoshi no Muku, that's a that's a great series. That, you know what? That's another underappreciated one, like Copcraft. Uh I feel like no one talks about Copcraft or Inu uh Itoshi no Muku anymore. Uh those hit me on the ground, Tilda hid me on the ground, Tilda. <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah, um Itoshi no Muko, that's that's such a great one. That, that's such a great show. It's just about a dog and uh her owner. And the the anime is through the perspective of the dog. So you get to see like how the dog, dog reacts. Has the range Murata stigma attached to it? Maybe why? Uh uh Range Murata, is that a series or is that like a studio or something? Um I don't know. I, like I I I don't think I ever saw anything from that studio. But like Copcraft was a lot of fun. Uh, it was definitely He's the character designer for Copcraft. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't, I didn't see anything wrong with the the character designs. Honestly, I thought they were really cool. Uh, they did a really good job of blending, uh, high fantasy and modern society like all together. 
Because if you don't know what it is, it's basically a reverse Sakai where high fantasy uh, elves or, you know, creatures start merging into the into the real world and stuff like that. And so they 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 form a police division that's both humans and elves or you know myth, mythical creatures to uh to patrol the new uh the new world that's basically forming right now. Uh it's really cool. I really liked it a lot. I like the world building and uh I look, I really like the characters cuz it's it's also a buddy a buddy cop thing. Uh <laughs> I, I I would recommend everyone to give it a shot, but you know, it, it Toshi no Muko, that that was also another one that kind of flew under the radar. I feel like a lot of people talked about it when it first came out, and then after it was done airing, like nobody kind of talked about it. But I still remembered it. I I've always remembered it. It's it's a I wouldn't even say it's a guilty pleasure. It's it's a really good show. Uh, it's very charming and cute. Uh, I I think everyone would like it. And then uh, of course uh, Kumo Desu ga Nanika. Uh, I love that series so much. I love the light novel and uh, the manga. The manga is also really good, but the manga cuts out a lot of filler from the from the light novels. So if you're going to get into it, I would recommend reading the manga uh, because uh, the light novel split up into two portions. If you saw the anime, the, the anime is basically just the light novels. Uh, they'll, they'll split up episodes or chapters into the spider episodes or the the human characters and honestly the human characters are just so freaking boring i ended up skipping through a lot of it just to get to the the spider stuff like even the light like even in the light novel i skip a lot of the the human interaction stuff just to get back to the spider because the spider is just way more interesting uh but yeah, um, I should have put Digimon on there because I I really like telling the Digimon story. The Digimon story is so much fun, uh, <laughs> because this this happened when I was in like elementary school. Uh, we were just hanging out, and I I remember this so vividly. I just remember where we were hanging out at, and they the kids were talking about Pokemon, and I was like, oh no, I've I've been watching Digimon. And like it's like that show's so stupid. And I was like, oh no. And I was like, okay. So then I had to go home and start doing homework on Pokemon, so that way I wouldn't get bullied for not liking it. So that's that's. I wouldn't even say I got oh. into Pokemon. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, no. I as soon as as soon as they were like, oh no, Digimon's stupid. I was like, okay, okay. We gotta. Uh, I I I have enough social they awareness. Were. They were right. No, they weren't. Pokemon is so stupid. I hate it so much. Uh, Digimon was so much better. Digimon should have won. Digimon should have won, dude. It really should have. Like, oh my god. Like, the Digimon games that come out are so much better yes. than the Pokemon games. Uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. If you haven't Digimon played... Digimon is just a stupid Pokemon. Nah, it's not. Uh... Complete ripoff. Nah. Uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth is so much better. It's such a better Pokemon game, and nobody played it. Like, I recommended it to everyone that was like, oh, you know, Pokemon's kind of... Like, everyone that was saying that the... Pokemon game, though. Like, it, like everyone was like, oh, no, you know, the modern Pokemon games are kind of lame. And I was like, dude, play play Digimon Cyber Sleuth. It's literally everything that you want in a uh, in a Pokemon game. It's got the collection thing. It's got... It's got, it's got really cool evolutions. Like, it's got branching evolution paths. It doesn't just go down one line. There's, there's, there's a tree... That you can follow, and it's amazing. It's so cool, and nobody, nobody played it. And I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here with Digimon Cyber Sleuth by myself and have fun, and you guys can can make up challenges in order to enjoy Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, but no, I've I've always liked Digimon over Pokemon. Uh, the char the designs were always cooler. The characters were always cooler. Uh. But yeah, the music was cooler. <laughs> the freaking Digimon rap. You can't go wrong with it. Alright. Uh we're we're coming up at the end though. And then after that we're gonna get into uh cursed Call of Duty stuff. But uh these were some of the patches that I've made and uh I really want to get back into doing more uh more embroidery work and sewing work. I should have put the, the, the gondola uh plushie that I made up here too, but I didn't have that much space for it. Uh, but yeah, there, there's the Goblin Slayer one that I made, uh, that I made. It was really cool. I, I ended up giving, uh, one of the smaller, no, I gave the bigger one to a buddy of mine, well, uh, like right before I left the military. Cause he was still like really into Goblin Slayer. 
But uh, yeah. Then those were like two mini ones. Uh, the sweet sweet Wi-Fi. Ah, she made it home. <laughs> but uh, no. The the way that I did this one was I have a I have a Goblin Slayer Figma, and I took a picture of it, and I just ran it through some uh some Photoshop filters and just broke it down into its base uh, colors. And it came out really good. Uh, I really liked the way that it came out. Uh, I ended up liking how it came out inverted too. So that's why you see an inverted one up there. Um, but this is, uh, this is the one that I made. That's what's on the patch that you see on my jacket. Uh, I made one for Leonidas when he hit his one year mark. Actually, let me turn off the chat box real quick. So that way you can see it better. Uh, I made this one for Leonidas when he uh, when he did his one year. And then I made the bottom one for Ari. Uh, let me move myself out of the way. Here we go. Uh, I did the bottom one for Ari right here. And then this one was for uh, Cowgirl Cowgirl or uh, Cowgirl Bessie. What's that one you made for you? A flower. Yeah, it's a flower. It's a flower with swords behind it. There, there, There's more meaning behind it, but I'm not going to go into it without really doxing myself. <laughs> but uh, maybe some other time. Uh, but yeah, there, there, there is some meaning behind it. Uh, but no, the... So, like, a lot of these were kind of just, you know, graphic design stuff. The, the Ari one that I made right here, uh, that one I actually drew. I actually drew out. Uh, I drew the planet. I drew the, the spaceship. I drew the stars. Uh, the only thing I didn't draw was the, you know, obviously the text up here. Um, I should have made the text a little bit bigger looking back on it now, but I, I really like the way that the, that the RE one came out. It came out really good. Uh, and then a, a lot of them are just like very simplistic designs. Uh, that's what I find works best is having a very simplistic design. Uh, the one that I did for Leonidas, though, I, I got tired of how goofy he looked. And I was like, Leonidas, you're a villain. You need to look intimidating. So I made him a, a very intimidating one. And uh, it also glows in the dark if you saw it on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I want to get into more art streams. Unfortunately, I can't do art streams. There was supposed to be an art stream this week. Uh, but I was just, I was way too exhausted with getting a lot of this stuff uh, set up. Oh, yeah, like I, I spent like all week getting everything set up. And I was so exhausted on Wednesday because I'd been working since, uh, like, what was it? I think it was Sunday or Saturday was when I got the model in. I can't remember. I can't remember the exact date, but like basically for an entire week I was working. And then, uh, Thursday and Friday was like the only time that I gave myself off. Give me a second. I need some, uh, I need some water. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, so, like, Thursday and Friday were, like, the only days that I gave myself off. And it was, oh, man, it was nice. It was nice to finally just, like, break away from working on OBS and working on VTube Studios, uh, custom parameters and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, the the art streams, they're, they're coming soon. Uh, they'll either come in next month or the month after. Uh, like I said, I need to buy a new art tablet. So, hopefully, hopefully I can get one next month. Uh, it's just a lot of other stuff came up this month, so I wasn't able to pick it up, like getting new glasses and contacts and stuff like that. So that's actually why the eye tracking works a little better now. I have the uh, I have the contacts in right now, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, uh, new new art tablet coming soon. Uh, I'm basically just gonna buy the buy the old one that I had. Honestly, I think it was my fault that I broke the old one because I left the. I left the USB cable plugged in and I think I ended up tripping over it and ripping out the, or at least like disconnecting the USB connection on it. Uh, more gun plus streams. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do too. Uh, I really need to get around to, to doing some gun plus stuff or more gun plus stuff. They're a lot of fun. Uh, it's just really hard to find models right now that aren't just high grades. Uh, master grades are really hard to find right now. Same thing with perfect grades. I'm like literally thinking of taking like the two hour trip to go look for a master grade. That's that's how desperate I am to find one. But uh, let's get to the final portion. The final portion is literally just uh, just uh, you know, credits. You know, big ups to Rui and to Forland for 
doing uh for the amazing work that they've done for me uh like i said without the foreland i'd never would have had uh had the model that you see right now and Rui definitely came through and and uh refined a lot of it and you know made it what you're seeing right now as well as the rigging so you know big ups to them they're really cool uh deforeland also does amazing art oh that's right i never showed y'all the uh the artwork from the the deforeland saga uh let me see if i can find it here we go uh so like the, this was like the first one that came through pretty cool i like it i i really love deforeland's colors and then after that he came through again with uh with the second model and uh really good stuff i i really liked his art uh, he, he definitely, he definitely, you know, came through with the second one. Like the second one just came out so much better than the first, but, uh, yeah. And then, and then Rui comes along and just, you know, refines everything, and, you know, it's, it's like that right there. But yeah, big ups Rui. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see. I guess I can show you all the, the other, this one again. There we go. It's so cool. I love it so much. This is like the best artwork that I've gotten. And then I got another one, but uh, I'm going to show that one off later. Uh, that, that, that'll be for another time. It took me a while to uh, to show this one. I can wait a little longer. But yeah, no, nah, it's been uh, it's been great. It's been fun.